Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today is going to be our longest video ever on Major Geeks, and that's how to install Windows 11 clean. It also works with Windows 10, but since that's the newest operating system, here we go. One thing to consider if you have 10 or 11 installed is how to reset or reinstall Windows 10 11 with the cloud. There's a video tutorial. It's easy to do. You can keep your files, you can keep your apps, and just have Windows itself reset nice and clean. So that's an option for you if you already have it installed. All right, so before you get started, well, you need Windows 10 or 11. So let's do the media creation tool. You can find a link to this page that you're looking at in the video description below. So we're going to download Windows 11 or 10 if you want. Here's a video tutorial, but it's super easy to do. You're basically going to choose the addition of Windows you want. Create installation media. ICE or a USB flash drive. So you're going to need a flash drive now at least 8 gigs. I would suggest you get maybe 16 to play it safe and you wait and when it's finished you will see your flash drive is ready now we got to reboot when you reboot you're hopefully going to see the splash screen with the Windows installation starting if you don't see the splash screen you're gonna have to go into your BIOS and you're gonna have to look up your computer brand and your motherboard brand it's really not hard to do and go into your BIOS and look for boot priority, boot order, something to that effect. And look carefully for the directions and how to move them so that your flash drive or USB drives are the first thing to boot. Not too tough, I promise. Once you're ready, reboot your computer with the flash drive in. You're looking at virtual machine here in the background. I'm essentially running Windows in Windows. So I'm going to fire that up and I'll try and maximize it when I can for you so you can see the best you can. Make sure you press a key, very limited time to do that or it will time out. And you're going to see the first of many prompts to install Windows 11. So we'll let that come up and we'll keep moving down through here when we need to. There it is. Language, time, keyboard pretty simple stuff and click next and then click install now well, we're gonna wait it's gonna go through all its checks and it's gonna ask you if you have a product key now once again as we just discussed with the BIOS or UEFI if you have UEFI you may not have a key there's no sticker on your tower or under your laptop you don't have a physical copy you didn't buy a key where they gave you a product key so it's probably built into your computer UEFI, meaning that Windows can be installed all the time and your BIOS is going to basically let it know what the product key is that stays with the computer. So in that case, enter your key next or I don't have a product key. Pick your edition. If you're not sure, Windows 11 Home works for most, you guessed it, home users. Click next. We have to accept the license agreement right here. Click next. And this is probably one of the tougher parts for some people. And trust me, it's not that hard. So I'm going to take you right through it. We're going to do custom install Windows only. Now you may be seeing, again, because I'm in a virtual machine with only one drive, you may be seeing two or three drives here. You're looking for drive zero. I think there's something else in there too. Let me take a look and refer to my own notes here unallocated space or you might see primary so what you want to do here is delete everything and you end up with you can kind of figure it out if you have a 500 gig hard drive it'll say 500 gigabytes anything else that's in here you'll click on it and you'll click on delete click yes at any prompts and when you get done you're looking to have one drive and the reason for this is Windows has hidden partitions for hidden Windows files for booting etc but we're going to do a clean install so let's get rid of everything once you're done you just click next and windows is going to properly partition and format the drive for you so don't be afraid of this is something people tend to be afraid of you want to delete everything so you get down to having one drive primary or unallocated okay go ahead and click next and we're installing windows just like you see here and believe it or not, this is a good time. I know if you're watching the video, you probably hit pause a few times at this point. And 
maybe even a little frustrated or whatever, hopefully not, because you probably spent an hour downloading the ISO. You spent the last five minutes watching the video of me showing you what you do in the last hour. Now's a great time to get up. You, this is unattended. Go get a cup of coffee. Go have lunch. Take a nap. It'll be here when you get back. It takes a little bit to do this. It's not too bad. It depends on your computer speed. So what I will do now is I'll hit pause briefly. I'll give you an idea of how long it took to install. Just to give you a ballpark, I'm on a pretty fast computer on an SSD drive. So we'll be right back with you. And we're back for just a minute here. As you can see, it's going to restart. Now you're going to expect Windows to restart quite a few times. Once you get to this, you can actually pull your thumb drive out now. Again, as I mentioned to you as well, if you see it say, press any key to boot, as you saw earlier on, we started because you left your thumb drive in. Just ignore it, and after about I don't know, 10 seconds, it'll bypass it, and it'll go ahead and boot like you see right now. So one of the things it has to do is install Windows updates, etc., and you're probably wondering why. If the ISO you downloaded had any updates since Microsoft made that ISO available, and it usually does, it has to get all the Windows updates from the time that they made that ISO available. So don't be surprised to see Windows updates and different stuff. Now here's the beauty of it. I'm assuming some of you are following along with a phone, etc. You're almost done. I mean, you've actually, if you've gotten here, you're golden. You've installed Windows. We just got to tell Windows now what you want to do with it when it comes back up. And actually, it, it takes a while to get through here. So the last part could be as fast as five minutes and it could be 30 minutes. It's probably going to take you almost as long to go from here forward to get everything done. So you're looking at the getting ready thing here. Let's see where we're at when I'm over here. Yeah, so we're just waiting for it to finish up. So this is your five to 30 minutes. Once again, keep it in mind that part of the five to 30 minutes is Windows rebooting. And it can vary from install, but it usually is going to reboot a few times before you're done. So don't be too worried about it. I think it's doing a reboot right now. Yes, it is. I probably should have maximized this as I promised, but hopefully you can see it okay. Otherwise, why don't I go ahead and maximize it now? Better late than never. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Yep, so now we're waiting for it to come back up to see what's next. And maybe I'll end up hitting pause again shortly. Let me see. Yep, I'll just hit. Oh, here, okay, here we go. Ooh, we got sound. So, once again, you're done. Windows is installed, quote unquote, as I've mentioned. Now you got to go through some stuff. You want to confirm what you started with. Yes. I don't know what's next keyboard. Yeah. So, you can make sure you've got the right keyboard layout. Yes. You want to add a second keyboard layout, you can add the layout here or skip. Back to checking for updates. Hopefully we got most of them are ready. And I think again, that's the one problem is uh, with minimizing this is uh, I can't see my browser in the background either. So, And this is, like I said, not the most important part anyway. It was getting you to here that was the big deal. Let me get this back out of full screen so I can bring the browser up while we're watching this in the background. Getting ready to do the updates. Name your device. Name it anything you want. Just follow the rules, which are no more than 15 characters, no spaces. Most people just use their first name. You can also skip, and it'll give it some name like desktop dash blah blah blah. Bunch of numbers, letters. You got your name in there. Here we go. Doop, doop. There's another reboot as promised. So this won't be too bad anyway. We can come back over here. This is for a good example right here. So I didn't name my desktop. So it's desktop dash je 6 kb Just random stuff. And that's coming up next. You want to want to sign in. Ah, good, I'll let typing for nothing. Good job. You've got to have an account. You can't get around it. All right, bear with me. See if I can remember my password. That it? Oh. I know I'm close. 
I um, I'm a big proponent of writing down your passwords. We might be into technology, but you really got to have original passwords. Creating a pin, you can mess with this stuff later, but let's just get Windows started. So just put whatever you want in there. Something you remember now. You don't want to lock yourself out. And when you're done, go ahead and click OK. We're almost done. So this is interesting. So if you already have a Microsoft account, you already have a PC, and you were logged in, you have two choices here. You can restore. So you can see that's pretty close to the date. Same day I did it. So I have a backup. It has my settings, my preferences, everything that I've already got over there. So the next steps coming up, you don't have to do. You can set it up as a new device. So once again, if you want to truly clean install, you're selling the computer, you're starting a new, set it up as a new device. And this is kind of, think of this like a restore point in a way. So you can restore from another device. And what that will do is give you a list of, as you can see, previous updates, kind of like System Restored it. So I can go all the way back months if I want. And again, just remember, that's just your settings. If you don't see anything here, just click the arrow. Once again, I'm not going to restore. I'm going to set it up as a new device for our example, and I'm going to click Next. Now, Privacy Settings. You can do this now, or you can do this later. So you can actually just click Next, Next, and you're done. Or scroll down, I'm sorry, not Next, Next. Start here, work your way down, and when you get to the bottom, it says Accept. There's only, what, five or six choices there, so you might as well while you're here. Here's one of the things I always skip, but you can do whatever you want. It wants to know how you're going to use your computer, but since it's going to offer you personalized tips, ads, and recommendations, this is personal choice. I skip it because I use my machine for fun, for games, for work, and uh, I guess creativity. I don't know. So I'm going to click skip. You can choose whatever you want. If you're playing games, feel free. It's up to you. OneDrive. If you have a OneDrive account, you can click next to log in or as I do only save files to this PC and once again checking for updates I don't know how many times it needs to check for updates but there you go and that's what reboot number three we're on right now I think so oh it didn't reboot okay getting things ready for you EPA, let's see what we got over here. We did that. Oh, I guess we're almost done. Even I forget it's so long after a while that uh, I'm so nerdy though that I just, I've done it so many times that I just click, 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 I get, you know what I mean? So I just want you to feel comfortable doing what you're doing as well. Now, this might take a few minutes, interestingly. It, it usually does take a few minutes and sometimes a little bit more. So do not turn off your PC. Do not unplug it if you're plugged into a wall, which you should be if you're installing Windows because you're going to go through a decent bit of computing power while you're doing this and battery. So we're going to give this just a second while we wait. I'll be right with you. And speaking of which, as you can see, keep your PC on and plugged in as we just discussed and just let it finalize things because the next thing you're going to see is your Windows 11 desktop. And I think I'll bring it out for that. Yeah, it doesn't fit the whole screen anyway. So, yay. Let's bring it back down. I'm just going to have to live with it. I know it's a little small on your screen right now. And there you have it. There is Windows 11 clean installed. So, that's pretty much all you need to know. Now you can go to town customizing, etc., etc. As you can see at this point in the video, we're... 14 minutes and 15 20 seconds take out my pauses uh, i'm probably it wasn't that much three four minutes of pausing so 18 minutes maybe and that's not bad when you think about it so from once you get that thumb drive set up and get going you can be up and running in windows 11 probably i would assume under 30 minutes which isn't bad I, boy it used to be a lot harder it's very similar but it hasn't changed much and there you have it. We survived my longest video ever. 14, oh my God, 15 minutes. I'm just going to sit here and gab just to get it to right there. Ah, we got to 15. All right, you know the drill, right? Bottom right-hand corner, click subscribe. 
You click like if we helped you out. You can't click dislike anymore. Thanks, YouTube. Yeah, that's great. Whew. All right. You know the drill. Thanks for watching. See ya.